Welcome to Average Joe's Pool. Today we've got a bit of a special video for you because we've just taken delivery of a brand new table. And this is the Olhausen Grand Champion 3. And in this particular video, we're going to be delving deep into all of the features and specifications that you'll find on this particular table. Now, before we jump in, it's worth noting that we have done a full series of DIY construction videos of this particular table being built. So if you want to see this particular pool table stripped right back to its bare bones and built from the ground up, then we will add links to those various videos into the video description below. So feel free to check those out if you want to. So the Olhausen Grand Champion 3. Let's dive in. So the table we have here is the Olhausen Grand Champion 3 and this particular one we have is a 9 foot. It's also worth noting this particular table is also available in 7, 8, 8 and a half, as well as what we have here the 9 foot option. And as you can see our table is finished in black but it is available in other colour options from Olhausen. It's also worth noting on our particular table we do have the Olhausen side apron logos. And the apron logos are not uh, supplied as standard, but they are available upon request. And it's worth noting when we first got the uh, table, uh, we had it without the logo. So we can show you exactly what it looked like, uh, both uh, without the logos when we, when we initially got it. And then we got the logo separately and fitted those as well. And that's what you can see here. So let's have a look at this table in a little more detail, starting from the ground up. So let's start with the legs. For the legs of this particular table, what we have is we have a dual pedestal setup. And each of those pedestals comes complete with two fully adjustable chrome feet. And the feet measure eight inches in diameter and they also come with a non-slip rubber grip on the underside. And the feet have a textured pattern engraved into the top of them. And the feet are really, really easy to adjust. They literally spin one way to go up, one way to go down, which really helps with the installation. So next, let's take a look at the frame, which is definitely one of the biggest benefits when it comes to Olhausen tables. And the frame is constructed from both three quarter inch and one inch plywood. And perhaps the most impressive thing with the frame is it comes pre-assembled from Olhausen. So you haven't got to put any of the frame together. It's literally shipped as one large unit. And one of the most impressive elements when it comes to the frame is actually the top of the frame because that includes what Olhausen referred to their Uniliner system. And what the Uniliner actually is, it's essentially a flat top to your frame. So what we essentially have with the Uniliner is we have a five and three quarter inch flat section that runs around the outside of the frame. And additionally, we also have two four and one quarter inch sections which run directly under the slate seams. So what we end up with, with the Uniliner system, is we end up with a really nice flat top to our frame, which gives us a large area of support for the slates. And this tends to make the installation and levelling of the slates just that little bit easier because you've got a nice, solid and really flat platform to work from. And according to Olhausen's website, they've done independent testing on the Uniliner system. And those tests showed that the Uniliner system was almost twice as strong as other frame construction methods. And so when it comes to constructing our frame, there's actually very little construction that needs to be done. Remember that the frame comes pre-made by Olhausen at their factory in the USA. And it's worth noting that all Olhausen tables are completely made in the USA. So construction of the frame really couldn't have been simpler. The pedestals attach onto your frame with two bolts on either of your legs and that's it. Four bolts and you've got a frame ready to go. And then next up on top of our frame of course is going to be our slates. And on our Grand Champion 3 this comes complete with one inch Brazilian slate. And when it comes to pool table slates, most slates are either Italian or Brazilian. And many people in the pool table industry feel that Brazilian slate is slightly the tougher of the two. And this is a three piece slate table, which of course means that the slate comes in three separate sections. And each of those three sections comes complete with an MDF backing. And one small thing that's worth noting when it comes to the slates is that on the corner pockets here, they've actually ground off the extra corners which makes the uh, installation of the cloth just that little bit easier. Speaking of cloth, of course, on top of our slates, we have our cloth. 
And the cloth that we've installed on this table is Simonis, and this is the 860HR, finished in tournament blue. And then of course, on top of our cloth, we have both our rails and our pockets. And we're gonna cover those in just a second. Now with regards to size of this uh, particular table, we have the nine foot model here, and the playing surface on this table is 100 inches in length by 50 inches in width. And with regards to the overall size of the table, including the rails, in length we're looking at 112 inches and 13 sixteenths approximately. And with regards to the overall width, we're at 62 and 7 eighths inches. Now with regard to table height, of course the table is adjustable, so you can set it to pretty much any height within reason that you want to. However, for our particular installation, we've gone by the WPA regulations, which states that the bed, the top of the slate, uh, must be a maximum of 31 inches from the floor. And in this particular installation, we're just a hair under that. So next up, let's have a talk about the rails. So our rails are constructed from poplar hardwood and they're finished in a matte black textured laminate. It's a really big advantage to have a matte finish to your rails, especially on tournament style tables. Because when you have a high gloss finish to the rails, it literally bounces that light off almost as if it was a mirror. So you can often even see the shape of the lights uh, in the rail and you get a lot of glare uh, that comes back into the eyes. Whereas when you have a matte rail, yes, it, you do see patches of light that shine onto the rail, but it's far, far better at diffusing that light. And the theory behind why that's advantageous is of course, if you're playing pool for a long time, then eye fatigue can become a factor. And having a matte rail rather than a gloss rail can certainly help to relieve that. And it's worth noting that on our Grand Champion 3 that we have here, that the uh, side rails come in one long section. So you notice that there's no join behind the pocket uh, on the center right here. It's literally one long piece end to end. And so to connect our four rails together, what we have is we have some dowels and additionally, we have draw bolts in each of our four corners. And those draw bolts are very similar to the types of bolts that you will see used in kitchen countertop construction. And what they do is they help draw those four corners in really tight and really snug. So essentially you end up with one large rectangular frame. And on the top of our rails, we actually have a really nice touch. The sights on the rails are finished in brushed aluminium. And these sights are 7 sixteenths of an inch, which is perfect for the WPA specification. And additionally, the distance from the center of our site to the nose of the cushion is three and 11 sixteenths inches, which again is bang on the WPA specification. And because this is a nine foot table, each of our sites should be 12 and a half inches apart. And these definitely are. And measuring from the back of the feather strip to the nose of the cushion, we have one and 15 sixteenths of an inch. And the depth of the rail, excluding the cloth section, is four and a half inches. And so that just about covers our rails, but what's attached to our rails are cushions. Let's look at those next. So with regards to cushions, what we have on this table, uh, just like you'll find on any Alhausen table, is the AccuFast cushions. And AccuFast cushions are exclusive to Alhausen and they are a K66 profile cushion made of 100% pure gum rubber and also made in the USA. Now these cushions are considered by many to be some of the best cushions in the industry. And in fact, Olhausen are so confident that these cushions are going to last you for decades that they back these with a full lifetime warranty. And our AccuFast cushions come complete with 1 8 inch facings on the insides of the pockets. And with regards to the nose heights of the cushion, which is measured from the slate bed up to the tip of our cushion there, we have 1 and 3 8 inches. And once again, that hits the WPA specifications for nose height. And so that just about covers the cushions. So next we need to look at pockets. So when it comes to pockets, what we have on our Grand Champion 3 here is we have nine inch rubber drop pockets. And these pockets can hold seven balls on the corner pockets 
a little bit less, six balls on your side pockets. And with regards to pocket width on our corner pockets here, we have four and three quarter inches. And when it comes to our side pockets, those came in at five and three eighths inches. Now we actually took some additional measurements off of our pockets because we wanted to calculate the table difficulty factor. Now to help us do that, we actually used sticky post-it notes so that we could get the angles as crisp and sharp as possible on our corners. And the additional measurements that we took are both the depth of the shelf as well as the angles of our cushions. And our shelf depth on a corner pocket is one and three quarter inches. And on our side pockets, the shelf depth is one quarter of an inch. And with regards to our pocket angles on our corner pockets here, we have 140 degrees. And on our side pockets, those came in at 102 degrees. So when we use those measurements to run our table difficulty factor calculation, this comes back with an overall score of 0.95 for its table difficulty factor, which is pretty much bang on average. Now, if you've never heard of the table difficulty factor test before, or you'd like some more information on that, we have done a separate video and we will add a link to that in the video description so you can check that out if you want to. And you'll also notice on the corners of the table, uh, we have these metal uh, plates, which again are matte black textured, and they sit just under the lip of the uh, rubber drop pockets. And you may have also noticed that we don't have this type of cover on our center pockets. And that's because there's literally no join to hide on the center pockets on a corner. We have a join where the two rails meet. And so this is a nice decorative way of finishing that off. However, remember on our side rails here, there are one long piece. So there's no join in the middle that needs to be hidden. So we get a nice smooth finish all the way down the sides. When it comes to the sides of our table, as you can see on the corners there, that metal trim is extended down to join the main panels together. And these panels are all finished in matte black laminate. And as we can see, we have this gorgeous cutaway, also known as a reveal, that's finished in a brushed aluminium. And as mentioned before, we do have the logos fitted to the sides, but remember those are completely optional. And we also have a metal trim that runs across the rear edge of our rail here. And we have a depth uh, from the top to the bottom here, just under nine inches. And finally, to finish off the head of our table, we've got the Olhausen logo plate set in the center target position. So when it comes to cost on our Grand Champion 3, you're looking somewhere around the $8,000 mark for a nine foot table, such as the one that we have here. And it's worth noting that Olhausen have over 300 dealers just in the US alone. So there's bound to be a dealer somewhere near you. And if you are interested in buying one of these pool tables, you should definitely check out the Olhausen website, olhausenbilliards.com. And if you don't already know who your local Olhausen dealer is, go onto their website and they have a find a dealer option. And it's worth noting, and this is a big factor when it comes to all house and tables, that price includes a full lifetime warranty. So as long as you remain the original owner of this table, all house and will back you up. And all house and have over 50 years experience in the pool industry and have a very solid reputation. So when they say that they'll stand behind their products, chances are that's a warranty that's actually worth having. And we'd like to extend our thanks to Olhausen for cutting us a superb deal on our Grand Champion 3, which is going to enable us to continue to keep bringing you more great content for the future. So you're definitely going to be seeing a lot of this table in all of our upcoming videos. And so thank you for joining us here at Average Joe's Pool. We really hope that this complete overview on the Grand Champion 3 by Olhausen has been helpful for you. And please do remember that we have done separate videos outlining the full construction of this pool table, and there will be links to those videos in the video description below. So that's all from us. It's now time to get stuck in and play some pool. So thanks once again for watching. We'll see you on the next one.